Today in Make and Drink, we aren't going to make or drink anything, but instead, I wanted to share five great bottles of booze that you can get for under $100. That's $100 total. I consider these to be essential spirits or essential bottles for anyone starting off their cocktail making future. Now, if you have built up a bar of your own, this might not pertain to you, but if you're looking for a holiday gift for a future home bartender, or if you yourself are just starting out, these are five bottles I would start with if I only had $100 in my pocket. I'm ranking these in order of importance, and while this is 100% subjective, I also recognize that it's a snapshot in time, and I'm sure to change my opinions about these spirits over time. Having said that, I would gladly stand behind each one of these bottles and recommend them to anyone. Well, actually, I don't stand behind all of them because starting out at number five is Sky Vodka. Now, I have nothing against Sky. I just don't have any type of preference for vodka. Uh, I actually Googled which was better, Svetka or Absolute, and multiple results came back saying Sky. While coming in at just $9.49, I think technically Sky is still considered a premium vodka. So while I don't personally prefer vodka, if you're building out a home bar, you probably have the idea of entertaining in mind. And if you wanna entertain, you're gonna need a bottle of vodka. It's versatile, it's cheap, and it's extremely easy to find. All right, number four on the list, Buffalo Trace Bourbon. I love Buffalo Trace. I think it's a great bourbon to stand on its own, and it works well in many cocktails. I picked up this bottle for $22.99. It's a traditional style of bourbon with some amount of rye in the mash. If you're opposed to that, for the exact same price, you can pick up a bottle of Maker's Mark, which will have a smoother, sweeter, less spicy taste than a bourbon with rye. I love both of them, and I usually always have a bottle of both on hand. All right, number three on the list, this is a good one. Plantation Three Star Rum. If you can only pick five bottles, you have to have a bottle of rum on that list. And the fact that you can pick up this bottle for only $17.99 kind of blows my mind. Plantation Three Stars gets its name because it's a blend of three different kinds of rum from Barbados, Trinidad, and Jamaica. It mixes extremely well in cocktails and it offers more complexity than something like Bacardi. But if you're down for that, you can get one of those for as little as $10. If you were to ask me to make the best daiquiri I could, I would use some simple syrup, some lime juice, and this rum right here. All right, number two, this is the wild card. This is the one that you didn't see coming. It's Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. This is the one and only bottle on the list that is not a hard spirit. Dry Curacao is a orange liqueur, and while it's called Dry Curacao, it's actually quite sweet. This bottle most resembles Grand Marnier, but unlike the other brands, this somehow is only $23.99. You can match this with any of the other spirits on the list, add some citrus, add some sugar, and you're gonna have an amazing cocktail. This is a staple of any classic cocktail bar and a staple of most bars. All right, number one on the list, what could it be? Diehard cocktail fans might have guessed, but to the uninitiated, you're about to be pissed off at this list. Number one is Beefeater London Dry Gin. Now, in my opinion, gin is the most versatile spirit and allows you to make so many cocktails. The classic Bartini, Gin and Tonic, Tom Collins, Negroni, Friend 75, Bees Knees, link for that above, and so much more. I get that people don't like gin, but that's mainly because they haven't had it in many great classic cocktails. You're probably associating it with your grandma's house, someone drinking gin on the rocks, which I think is kind of disgusting. But if you could only have one bottle, I'm choosing gin every time. I'm not picky, I like Beefeater, I like Tanqueray, I like Bombay, and this bottle right here came in at just $15.49. It's a close one between gin and bourbon, but I think in a mixed cocktail, gin is much more approachable and it's gonna be a more favorite of larger crowds than something like bourbon. All right, there you have it. These are my top five bottles. If I only had $100 to spend, the grand total for all five bottles, out the door, tax included, purchased in the high tax San Francisco Bay Area is $98.27.
And now for the glaring omission, there's no tequila on this list. Uh, people that know me know I love a margarita, maybe more than any other drink, but it just couldn't make the list and that's for two very important specific reasons. Uh, first, it's the cost. A decent bottle of tequila is gonna set you back $25 or more and a good bottle is usually closer to 40. Out of all of these spirits, real tequila is the most difficult to make and because of that, it fetches a higher price. But if price is not a factor, then I would 100% kick the vodka to the curb and get a bottle of tequila, something like Lalo or Pesote, or go with a Patron or even Don Julio. I found myself really into the non-additive tequilas recently, and those are almost always over $30, and that would completely break the budget of a $100 shopping trip. So there you have it five essential bottles for under $100 total. What do you think? How wrong am I? Let me know in the comments below. Please like this video, subscribe if you want to, and otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. And we'll make something then, and we'll drink it too.